Simone Waite. I am a horticulture instructor here at Shasta College and today I am going to be talking about our integrated pest management. Controlling insects is really critical to producing healthy plants. We train uh, people to become pest control advisors and a lot of what pest control advisors do is that they are sleuthing out what's wrong with different plants. Um, you can use a hand lens or we have um, a larger magnifying lens here if you um, don't want to use a small hand lens. Or if you don't have either, you can use your cell phone camera and then zoom in. Either of those uh, ways work, but I'm just going to be using a little hand lens today. We have um, some beneficial insects in our greenhouse, and one of the things that we do uh, on a daily basis is we'll go through and we'll scout um, looking at our plants. And by scouting, I mean we go in and actually kind of examine plants by lifting up the leaf and looking underneath and looking to see if we have any pests. Right now we have aphids on this okra here and some of our peppers, but we also have a lot of beneficial insects that are also there. So you can see here the little green guys here are the aphids, but all of these kind of tannish colored little things on here are parasitized aphids, which means that a wasp has laid its egg in the aphid body and its larva is hatching in there and then it eats the aphid from the inside out and it kills the aphid. Those little wasps are super teeny tiny and they're these little black, tiny little fly looking things that you see flying around here. One just landed on my finger. Um, those are the beneficial wasps that we use to control aphids. The other thing that we have in here that's eating our aphids are ladybugs. And the ladybug larva looks like this, sort of like little alligators with stripes on them, orange stripes. Those are the larva of lady beetles, uh, but they are um, voracious eaters and they'll eat any of the aphids or white fly that we might have um, trying to eat our plants. We have over here on the celosia, we have more lady beetle uh, larvae that are all inside the flower. And you can, if you use your hand lens, you can take a quick look there. When we're out doing this side of activity, um, you're gonna be using the hand lens. You're gonna be looking underneath the leaves, looking for a close up, see what's going on. The other way that we monitor our insects is to use sticky traps. And these sticky traps are made with uh, something called tangle foot. The yellow attracts our pests and then it will get stuck to the trap and so we can take a look at our sticky trap and go hmm what do we have going on in our greenhouse at this time and right now we have a lot of fungus gnats on here um, we have one lacewing that which is a beneficial insect that got stuck there uh, but nothing too concerning so we wouldn't get too alarmed by that so when we are monitoring for insects um, there's a couple things we want to do we want to pick up our pot we want to look um, Underneath the underside of the leaf, we want to look under the rim of the pot. We want to look at the roots and below because a lot of times we'll find slugs or snails that have stuck up against underneath or below. We might find mealybug that's stuck up under the rim. There might be things that are feeding on the roots um, and then also the underside of the leaf. Again, my name is Lamone Waite. I'm a horticulture and plant science instructor at Shasta College. And if you'd like to learn more about our horticulture program or our pest control advisor preparation program, please feel free to contact one of our counselors and come out and visit us.